During slavery, black people were vulnerable, but among them, women were the weakest, especially when they were pregnant. You can't even imagine the horrible things done to them. Some cruel white people enjoyed seeing these pregnant women suffer. They did terrible things that caused unimaginable pain to them. From using them for their pleasure in an inhumane way to giving them physical punishment, these white men did everything. The women had no right over their bodies and only white men could control them. And you know how the saddest brain works when dealing with an extremely weak slave. Still, we don't know everything that happened to these pregnant women. But we do know that some white men were extremely brutal when dealing with them. So, let's talk about that in this video. The Black History Archives Enslaved pregnant women faced horrific conditions during slavery. They were the best victims of white people's brutality, because giving her pain gave the sadist white people more satisfaction. And there is a list of activities they performed on these enslaved pregnant black women. Demanding labor. Pregnancy did not shield enslaved women from the grueling labor expected of them. They were required to work extensive hours in the fields or perform strenuous domestic duties with little to no accommodation for their condition. The physical exertion required by labor-intensive tasks puts tremendous strain on their bodies. The constant bending, lifting, and prolonged standing increased the likelihood of miscarriage and preterm births, jeopardizing both maternal and fetal health. Many enslaved women already suffered from malnutrition, anemia, and other health problems due to poor living conditions and inadequate diets. The additional physical demands of pregnancy, coupled with heavy labor, worsened these conditions, leading to more severe health complications. The relentless workload without sufficient rest led to extreme fatigue and exhaustion. This not only caused accidents and injuries, but also contributed to chronic health issues such as back problems, joint pain, and overall physical deterioration. But watching these women work in pain didn't melt anyone's heart. White people love to make these women work when pregnant. Lack of medical care. Medical care for enslaved people was woefully inadequate, and pregnant women were no exception. The lack of skilled medical practitioners meant that common pregnancy complications, such as preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, and infections, went untreated, increasing the risk of maternal and infant mortality. Discouragement or prohibition of midwives and traditional herbal midwives who possessed valuable knowledge of herbal remedies and childbirth practices were often discouraged or banned from assisting enslaved women. This deprived them of even the most basic support systems, exacerbating the risks associated with childbirth. Without access to proper medical care and support, both maternal and infant mortality rates were significantly higher among enslaved populations. Women faced the dangers of childbirth alone, leading to many preventable deaths. Here's a reminder to please support us so we can make more videos for you by subscribing to our channel and giving the video a like. We want to build a strong community and we need your support. Let's continue now. Separation Anxiety Imagine a mother carrying a baby that she is not sure will live with her after the baby is born. What can be more brutal than taking away someone's baby? So if lucky, the baby gets born, the threat is not still over. Because white people love to separate kids from mothers, this constant fear of being separated from their children haunted pregnant enslaved women as children born into slavery were considered the property of the slaveholder. Families could be torn apart at any moment through sale or trade. The looming threat of separation caused severe emotional turmoil for pregnant women who lived with the constant fear that their children could be taken away at any time. The anxiety of potential separation added an immense emotional burden, overshadowing the joy of motherhood with the dread of impending loss. The lack of control over their children's futures created a deep sense of insecurity and hopelessness, as mothers knew they had no power to protect their families from the whims of their owners. Violence Think of pregnant women being beaten by a man double her size. Some of you can't even bear to think this, but black enslaved women faced this. 
pregnant enslaved women were not spared from the routine violence inflicted upon enslaved people, including physical punishment and brutal treatment. They were often beaten or abused, regardless of their condition. Physical violence, such as beatings, not only caused immediate harm, but also posed significant risks to the unborn child. Many women suffered miscarriages or premature labor as a direct result of such brutality. The trauma from physical abuse compounded the daily suffering experienced by pregnant women, adding to their physical pain and emotional distress. Violence was used deliberately to instill fear and suppress any signs of resistance. Pregnant women, seen as vulnerable, were often targeted to set an example and maintain the oppressive power dynamics. It was a symbol that, if white people could be this merciless to black pregnant women, what could they do to other slaves? Forced breeding. Can women be treated just merely as reproductive tools? Some slave owners forced women to have children to increase their enslaved population, treating women as mere reproductive tools. This practice dehumanized women and stripped them of any autonomy over their reproductive choices. Women were denied any say in their reproductive lives, including when and with whom they would have children. This complete lack of control over their bodies was profoundly dehumanizing. The emotional and physical toll of being forced to bear children against their will, the physical demands of repeated pregnancies, often without adequate recovery time, took a severe toll on their bodies. The emotional burden of being treated as a means of reproduction added to their psychological suffering. The continuous cycle of exploitation as the children born were also subjected to enslavement. Each child born into slavery perpetuated the cycle of exploitation as these children were also considered property and faced the same harsh realities as their mothers. Loss of control. Unimaginable was done to black women, so can you think what was done to them when they were pregnant? Enslaved women had no control over their bodies, including decisions about their diet, living conditions, and reproductive choices. Their entire existence was dictated by the whims of their slaveholders. Enslaved women were often provided with inadequate food and lived in poor conditions, leading to malnutrition and health issues that adversely affected their pregnancies. Women were often forced into relationships and pregnancies, further depriving them of personal agency and control over their lives. From forcing them into doing nasty things to beating them to death was a common thing. The Exploitation and Objectification of Pregnant Enslaved Women The exploitation of enslaved women extended to a disturbing degree of objectification and abuse, including the specific targeting of pregnant women for the twisted gratification of slaveholders. Pregnant enslaved women were often objectified and subjected to sexual abuse and exploitation by their owners and other individuals in positions of power. The fetishization of their pregnant state added a grotesque dimension to their suffering as it involved taking pleasure from their vulnerability and condition. Pregnant women were not exempt from the sexual violence perpetrated against enslaved women. Their pregnant state could make them more vulnerable to abuse, as some individuals take perverse pleasure in exploiting their physical condition. This exploitation further dehumanized pregnant women, reducing them to mere objects of sexual gratification. Their suffering and humanity were disregarded in favor of satisfying the depraved desires of their oppressors. Forced abortions. Not only were these women forced to go through conditions that could harm the baby, but they were also sometimes forced to have abortions. It was totally up to white people if they wanted the black lady to have a baby or not. Forced abortions were a brutal method employed by some slaveholders to control the reproductive capabilities of enslaved women. These abortions were carried out without the consent of the women, often through violent means or the administration of harmful substances. Forced abortions posed severe physical risks to the women subjected to them. These procedures were typically conducted in unsanitary conditions without medical expertise, leading to infections, hemorrhaging, and sometimes death. Can these traumas ever be erased? 
Why did white people do inhumane things? And why is no one talking about what happened to all these black pregnant women? Let us know in the comments section. Were you aware of it before? Would you like us to make more videos? If yes, please support us by subscribing to the Black History Archives and clicking the bell icon. You can check out more videos on our channel too.